You guys know what I did last week. I put out a video asking you to send me builds that I could transform with redstone. And, well, let's just say you did not disappoint. My email address got bombarded with various different Minecraft builds of various different shapes and sizes. And over the next couple weeks, I'm going to be doing my best to transform a whole bunch of them with a whole bunch of redstone. And this one right here is going to be the first. This was designed by a chap called Noxineom. I'll put all of his links down in the description. And I have to say, when I first saw it, I just thought it was so cool the way that it's been merged into the cliffside. It just fits right in with the grass roofs and everything like that. We've got the water flowing down. I really like the way that this thing looks. But the one thing that really sold it to me was this. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, recently I got myself a T2 camper van. An old VW camper van. It's my pride and joy. I've always loved these things. And they have recreated it. And they have done such a fantastic job at building it that... Well, this just had to be the first build that I featured. So I guess project number one is going to be the entrance because, you know, this is a modern house. These are boring wooden doors. That's not exciting in the slightest. I mean, modern houses, you don't use your hand to do anything. So we are going to create some form of automatic entrance system. I'm thinking, like, maybe we could have, like, a face scanner. So you walk up to it and be like, boop, and then the doors open. <laughs> that could be pretty cool. So the way that I've set this up is this thing right here is our face detector. You can see it's looking right into our eyes. And when we walk up to it, that will actually activate a little bud switch down in the ground, which gets activated by this string, which will give a redstone output, hopefully, through this little pulse extender right here. Now, this is a vertical bud switch. It works by basically extending out this piston, preventing this piston from extending again. It's a little bit of a strange one. But we should see... We get ourselves a redstone output into into the pulse extender. If I actually wire it up correctly, that's now working. So let's just create some form of piston door. Piston door is in. It is the famous slime block hipster door. So here we go. Face scan. Door opens up. Everything is working well. Now the only thing that I will say is a little bit rubbish about this design is... Well, the door ain't so pretty from the inside. But I'm going to completely ignore that. And we're going to move into the kitchen area. Now, this place has been really nicely designed. It's looking really cool, but it can definitely do with some extra redstone contraptions. For example, space is a little bit tight in here. Wouldn't it be really awesome if we could actually make all of this thing drop down into the ground so we can get it out of the way when we're not using it, but then when we need it, we just pop it out on the floor. I mean, I could do with that in my own kitchen. I have a really small kitchen. It would be brilliant to have something like that. But unfortunately, I think that would be rather expensive. So let's just do it in Minecraft instead. For the most part, this thing is now up and running, except for one slight issue. We have got a stray piston. So we've got all the chairs. We've got pretty much all of the counter, bar this one. And we need to try and work out how to actually get power to that piston. Um, maybe... Some redstone dotage there. Yeah, that could be a good idea. Oh, this is difficult. After some head scratching, we're there. We've got the redstone dot, and then we've got the repeater, which powers all of this redstone down to the bottom. I've done some slight rearranging of the kitchen so that it looks a little bit better, and now we can make our counters disappear. <laughs> This should be a feature of all homes in the future. Oh, I've got some friends coming around. We need to have dinner at the counter. Boom! Counter pops out of the floor. Awesome. Okay, but that's not all we're going to do in the kitchen. We actually need to create some food. Uh, probably not a good idea to do it here. I actually really like this. Uh, maybe a chandelier, though. I feel like a drop-down chandelier could be... <laughs> Yeah, that could look quite cool. Just to really up the mood. Now, I must say, I've completely removed the bedroom to make way for this thing. We're going to have a double piston extender, which pushes this thing down into the area. So, we're going to have quite a low-hanging chandelier right above that flower there. And then, we're going to have to add in some block swappers, which are going to swap between. This is going to be tight. Huh. Part one is done, and that is our conditional double piston extender. So we have got the double retraction, and then we have the single extension, which will mean that this block right here is flush with our ceiling, 
and then we'll get the retraction, the swap, and then that will be the glowstone extension. So I, I imagine, I hope, I hope, that is like the difficult part done. Now we just have to do the simple part, which is the actual block swapping. To reference that old Coldplay song, no one said that this was going to be easy, but nobody said that it was going to be so hard. Just, oh, I've got myself into a right muddle. I've done it! I've actually done it! I've managed to complete it somehow. I don't really understand how I've managed to do it, but there we go. So we've got the glowstone there, and then the slab can go right there. And if we flick the switch... <laughs> how good is that? Oh, awesome. And it's actually... It's not too horrendously uncompact. I've done a pretty good job there. Right, the input is up there. We've somehow got to wire this in to the system so that we can access it from downstairs. I've also got to fix up the entire upstairs area. But that is... That's a pretty cool little system that we've just created. I'm fairly proud of that. And there we go, the switch is now in, we flick it from the ceiling, and there is the drop down chandelier, and we flick it once again, and that will retract everything away, and then we have ourselves a completely flush ceiling. Very, very proud of that one, and if we run upstairs right here, you can see, <laughs> you wouldn't even be able to tell that there's a redstone contraption there, but this entire room is filled to the brim with redstone. I actually can't get inside, so we've used every square inch of the bedroom. Which means that we now have no bedroom, by the way. <laughs> Redstone's more important. I do feel like something should go here, but unfortunately we don't really have too much space. Now we've got a staircase there, we've got a downstairs just directly underneath it. Oh, I just, I don't think we're going to be able to slot anything in. But then I remembered if you're running low on space, you just build yourself one of these little things, which is an ender station. Now let's just see if I can get all of the redstone in. Okay, that should be it. So if we place down a wooden button and clear out the inventory, we should get exactly one full stack of ender pearls. 16! Perfect! Okay, so if we run blocks up like this, that kind of looks acceptable. And then... Maybe... <laughs> uh, we're probably going to have to bodge this one a tiny bit. But blocks there and there, and maybe some stairs? Just a handful of spruce wood stairs. Hey, now, I'm just saying, that looks like part of the room, and that is one fully functional redstone contraption in literally the tiniest of spaces. With this being a cliffside house, and this area right here being the prime location for it, I think it would be rude of us to not build some form of Elytra launcher right here. Now, I think the one with all the boats is still working. I'm actually gonna have to double check how to make one of those, because I've never built one before but soon we're going to be shooting out the side of this thing. But after researching Elytra launches and everything like that, I kind of had a bright idea. Originally, I was going to launch myself out the bottom window, and I thought to myself, wouldn't it be much cooler if I launched myself out the top window? So I've constructed this little thing. Now, it's nothing too dramatic, but hopefully... Ah... Oh, it doesn't look like it quite works. We might need to make some modifications to the windows. Hang on, let's place those in. And... Go. <laughs> That's brilliant. We got... We, that, that launched me far further than I was expecting. I mean, that's like an eject button from the house. Man, like if a burglar comes in, you're like, oh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm out of it. <laughs> I don't want anything to do with this. That's amazing. Okay, so there we go. We've got ourselves a house ejector. Let's make our way through the corridor and... I mean, there's not too much that I really want to do in this zone. Uh, maybe something with the fireplace. I've spent so long trying to build this toggleable fireplace system and I just don't seem to be able to do it. All I need to do is create a falling edge monostable circuit. I think my brain's been frazzled by me trying to create that, that chandelier thing. Uh, falling edge monostable. How does one do it? Finally, we've got one. Flame on. 
and flame off. Now, in terms of the redstone, it's actually pretty beefy. <laughs> I've got a fairly beefy circuit out the back here. Generally speaking, these things are really, really compact. You just place redstone torches on the backs of the dispensers and then place the sticky pistons facing across. Wouldn't have worked in this circumstance, so I've had to do a little bit of extra redstone wiring and it's ended up being quite chunky, but it does function and it looks really cool on the inside of this room. Now, is there anything else I want to do in here? I thought it would be a good idea to actually add in some toggleable redstone lighting in this area. Now, I'm going to warn you, it's not pretty up on the top. Yes, it is, because it kind of looks like a strange helicopter pad. That's my helicopter pad, my three... I mean, it's a strange looking H, but I'm going to say that that is my helicopter pad. And that should have linked up all of these redstone lamps. Nothing too serious, but I think that's the final little detail that we're going to have in this room right here. So let's pop down to the bottom, and now we have a swimming pool. I'm thinking... I'm thinking... I don't know what I'm thinking. I must admit, I've been a tiny bit stuck for ideas on this section right here, but I think I've come up with something that could be quite cool. So. We need, so that lever there will connect into this redstone and we should just hopefully be able to run that down and into this section. Now we're probably going to need some form of repeater because we've got quite a lot of redstone down at the bottom there, but boom, <laughs> that's great. So now we can just use it as a balcony, right? So we've got ourselves like a, a nice balcony that we can stare out. I know we've got this balcony, all right, but this balcony is cooler. And then we flick this lever swimming pool this is another thing that i think should exist in all houses i know that water doesn't work like that <laughs> you couldn't just push the floor up and expect the water to just disappear but that's cool great okay so we've got ourselves a pop-up swimming pool i think a changing room would be good in this area there we go i think that just about covers it we've got ourselves some form of activation device to get in we've got these things which give us a full set of armor and then we can pop on outside. I think that's all we really need in this zone. I mean, it's just a swimming pool area, so... I, th I think we've just about covered it. I mean, we've got all of the downstairs area. I don't really think we need anything extra down here. I think the only thing we have left to do is the upstairs, which is literally just the bathroom. But I'm tempted to transform this bathroom into a bedroom because we don't have a bedroom anymore and I can just I can do my business off the side there just just drop it down just kind of squat over the edge like this oh that would go right on my roof I don't want to be doing that now with the bed in place we only really have this area here to actually create the redstone contraption now I've added in some some like side lights so that we have one on either side but there has to be something that can go here. There has to be. What would I love to have in my bedroom? I guess like a, a gaming setup. Yeah, we need to have some kind of gaming setup. Now there's no redstone involved here, but I still think this looks really cool. So we've got double speakers that face towards the player. We've got a triple monitor setup. There is the PC tower itself. We've got a keyboard and we also have a mouse off to one side. This is one cool bedroom. Unfortunately, there wasn't too much room for redstone up here, but I think we made up for that with the fact that the room next door is filled to the brim with a full redstone contraption, which controls all of the lighting. So there we go. We have filled in this house with a whole bunch of different redstone contraptions. I really do hope you enjoyed the journey of creating this thing. Let me know down in the comments section if you want to see more of this type of video because I like just messing around with redstone and trying to build awesome things inside of houses. But unfortunately, that's all I've got time for today. If you did enjoy this video, please sure to hit that like button. And if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mumbo, and I'm out. I'll see you later. Oh, and by the way, check out the filming channel.